Why? Because it entails you being saved out of this exactly. God-forsaken civilization and captivity, man. The, hey, the, the uh, scriptures say the, the captive hasten to be free, man, to be loose, man. But the problem is our people don't even know they're captives of kind, man. They don't even, they don't know that they're captives under the curses, they, uh, uh, under their enemies. But one, what, our, one of our main captivity, the thing that we've been captive to, uh, since, since since Adam fell, man, is is, is the, these chains of darkness, man. Right. All right, this bondage of corruption, man. The the the, uh, the, the, uh, the captivity, the law of sin and death, man. This flesh, man. All right, you gotta be want you gotta want to get the fuck out of this flesh, man. All right, and put on Yahweh Shai, man. Be conformed to His image. Be a, a, a perfect uh, son or daughter of Yahweh Shai, Yahweh Shai, man, and live righteously. You know, that's what you gotta want, man. You can't. You can't just be lackadaisical, man. It just don't, that, that just does not work in this truth, man. Can I say this real right, quick? Right. Real quick. Uh, Apostle Todd said this, man. You know, it's best, uh, a lot of scriptures that say we're basically the Lord's woman, right? Mm -hmm. So, we go back to the law of uh, rape. You feel me? You got a right. woman, if she don't cry out, she got to get put to death. Right. But if she cry out, then, then it's, all, it's just on the man that committed the act of rape. Right. These niggas ain't crying, they getting fucked by these songs, man. They don't give a fuck. And they crying. And they, and they submit it. They like that shit. Yeah, they, they submit it, man. That's why that's why the woman's supposed to be put to death, man. Because she's supposed to cry and she's not supposed to submit uh, to another man that's trying that's trying to pop her, man, because that's adultery, man. Huh. She knows that she's supposed to be she's supposed to be patrolled to that husband that she was uh uh ordained for, man. Okay, but our our people, they getting fucking popped like Flipped and popped all over the fucking place by Esau and these other heathens, and they not crying to the Lord, man. That's right. Okay, that's why they gotta get put to death, man. And like on uh, prison break, you niggas holding the pocket. Yep. You nigga, you nigga holding the pocket. Esau pocket walking wherever he go, wherever, wherever, wherever he, he go. You following him instead of following the lamb. Con, man. But guess who? Is, who is crying, man? Who is crying? Right. Who is crying inside the elect, man? Shall not, shall not the Most High avenge his very elect that cry day and night unto him, man? Don't he suffer long with them, man? That's right. That's what it is, man, because the Lord's a righteous power, man. But you niggas are wicked as fuck, man. <laughs> Verse 13. Nevertheless, we, according to his promise, look for new heavens and a new earth wherein dwelleth righteousness. Right. right. For a new heavens and a new earth wherein dwelleth righteousness, man. Wherein dwelleth righteousness, man. Okay? All This whole backwards-ass world, man, is going to be done away with, man. And it's going to be paradise and peace on earth. Everything's going to be back in order again, man. Like it's supposed to be. All right? Under Yahweh, why Yahweh Shai, King David, and the, and the rest of the elect, man. Why wouldn't you want that? Why? Because you a damn wicked-ass nigga. You don't trust in the Lord's righteousness, man. You trust in your own fucking righteousness. That's why, man. Uh, Sirach 4 and 28. Strive for the truth unto death, and the Lord shall fight for thee. Right, man. Fight for the truth unto death, man. Strive for the truth unto death, and the Lord shall fight for thee, man. You gotta strive for your by Shimei Yahweh Shai. Not because, not because you woke up and said, you know what, the Lord's righteous. You know, like this is not like the brother was saying. This is not of us, man. Okay, you ain't just wake up one day and say, you know, I'm gonna fight for the Lord, man. Have to be a cop. Nah, man. It's the Lord who was fighting for you, man. <laughs> <laughs> don't be a prophet. <laughs> nah, this shit don't work like that, man. Nah, man, it's the Lord that's been fighting with, for you, man. It's good to say, uh, with, with great labor hath he made uh, his plan uh, perfect, man. So it's the Lord that's been striving and laboring and fighting, man, and putting in that work, man. All right? It's the Lord that's been going hard in the paint, man, yep. since the beginning of time for, for his elect, man. All right? And he and he showed that ultimately by what Yahweh Shah went through on the cross, man. Okay, and conquering death, man. So, so once you once you understand that, and the spirit, the spirit gotta 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 give that to you, man. Okay, the Lord gotta draw you into that, man. And, and or you ain't gonna get it. Once once you get it, you know, if the Lord is being merciful unto you, then that's what what causes you to strive, man. Because of the Lord, the Lord's love and His mercy and, and His and His zeal and His jealousy that He had for you, man. Okay. That's why the scriptures say it's not that we love the Lord, but that He loved us first, man. Damn, it's all bro. about it's all about your Yahweh Shimei was shot. That's why He called the chief cornerstone. You fucking idiot niggas out there, man. Man, go ahead, bring it out, bro. First Timothy chapter six, verse twelve. Fight the good fight of faith. 
Lay hold on, on eternal life. Let me, one more time, slack it. First Timothy chapter 6, verse 12. Fight the good fight of faith. Lay hold of eternal, on eternal life, wherein unto thou art also called, and has professed a good profession before many witnesses. Right, so you're supposed to fight the good fight, okay, uh, for our eternal life, which is the kingdom of heaven, man. On this side, you're not supposed to be um, engaging with this bullshit, man. The good fight is pushing out this word, being in season, out of season, okay? Bringing out this work, making videos, man. Making your lecture a, 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 a core, man. God, man, striving against the flesh, man. Striving against sin, man. In your own, in your own self, man. By the spirit, man. All right. And, and what the fuck, like that you, you calling yourself an Israelite? Well, first of all, the only reason we we're called Israelites and not Jacobites is because Jacob wrestled with an angel, man, and he laid hold on the angel, even though the angel dislocated his joints, man. Okay. So if you in, if you in the faith, you calling yourself an Israelite, you believe in Yahweh Shai, man, you're supposed to be fighting, man. All right? Yeah. Lay hold on eternal life, man. Like like them MMA boxing, you, you throwing the jabs and the hooks, and you grabbing the motherfucker, you slamming his shit, man. Okay? You gotta rap, you gotta fucking choke him, slam his that motherfucker, you put him in the put him in a lock, this lock, that lock, man. Okay, till he tapped the fuck out, man. That's how we gotta be, man. Stri striving in the faith, man. Striving against ourselves, striving against sin, man. All right? Bringing out, bringing out, or uh, casting down imaginations, man. All right, until the Lord comes back. All right, and they got and wickedness got to tap the fuck out, man. You know, I just thought about it. it's good you bring that up because you know uh, his name was Jacob, right? He yeah. got changed to uh, Israel, which is Yashal in the Hebrew, meaning the Prince of Power. But one of his attributes, Jacob, means to supplant, and that's what we're doing right now. When we come out here, we're supplanting the so-called white man because eventually he's gonna come after us. And when he come after us, the most high gonna fuck him up, man. So that's what we're doing. We're supplanting the white man to come and stop this troop from going out. That's and right. put his hands on us. That's but when right. you touch the apple of the most high's eye, then you got a price to pay, man. Right. That's what we're looking for. We're looking for the so-called white man to come after us, man. Yep. That's how we know we're gonna get up out of here. Yep. Right? Because once he's, once his, the family word comes out, like the brother brought out. That's a wrap, man. It's, it's judgment it. season, man. All you fucking people playing games out here in America, in Babylon, you're going to die here in Babylon. Shit. You and that bitch-ass woman you sleep next to. Yep. Roll right. kill. That's right. Here I might bring it out, bro. Uh, the book of Colossians, chapter 1, verse 23. If ye continue in the faith grounded and settled, and be not moved away from the hope of the gospel, which ye have heard, and which was preached to every creature, which is under heaven, whereof I, Paul, am made a minister. God, man. So you got to continue in the faith, man. You got to continue unto the end, man. All right? You got to continue in the gospel that was preached unto every creature under heaven, man. Not, not, that doesn't mean that the gospel is for everybody, but we, 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 uh, we making our calling and election sure, man. We making full proof of our ministry among many witnesses, man. Okay? On YouTube, that's why the video's going out. That's why the lesson's going out, man, like like they are, man. But we got to continue with that until the end, man, until the Lord tells us to stop, man, until it's time for the family word to come. And we got to continue enduring tribulation until the end, until the Lord comes back and delivers us, Lord willing, man. Uh, 2 Timothy 4 and 7. I have fought a good fight. I have finished my course. I have kept my faith. So basically, man, you got to fight to the end and keep on enduring, even if it's tribulations. Praise to the most high that he give you that strength. So jump over them hurdles, them tribulations, man. But you just gotta keep on doing it, keep on seeking him ten times more. And just don't give up, man. You got the end. Just and, keep on seeking him. And that's that's a, that's how wisdom and knowledge is gonna be the civility of, of those days, man. Cause cause when, when shit go down and it ain't no more internet to upload videos, we ain't gonna be out here prophesying no more. Because it's gonna be going down. We're gonna we gonna be able to uh, Lord willing, think how Paul was thinking. Man, I have fought the good fight. All right, now Lord willing, Lord be with me. Keep me from the hour of temptation. You know? Ain't going to be no more posting videos. Ain't going to be no... Right now is the time where we have the luxury or we have the ability to really sacrifice. Right, right now is what a sacrifice is. Right. In them days, the Lord just got to be with you. When martial law ain't no food in the stores, the Spirit just got to be with you. You got to sacrifice now, which means not doing just the shit that make you comfortable. You got to get up in the morning, okay, but all right, it's a sacrifice then. We all do. We got to make the videos. We got to fellowship and do this. We got to, oh, we, uh, we got to turn down that job on Saturday. That's a sacrifice. 
Hey, and look, and the reality is, like, in a war, you, man, love that brother, man. Yeah. He say, he always say this. He say, if the Lord come tomorrow, yep. do you feel that you've done enough to be saved? Uh, that should be your mindset. Look, we never done enough. All of us can admit to that. But think about it. Look, we're coming out here, we're doing the work, we fellowship. You know what I'm saying? We, 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 we showing charity, we showing love, we prophesying, we studying. You know what I'm saying? So I'm doing what you told me to do, right. at least. Cons. You know what I'm saying? Cons. Cons. I'm doing what you told me to do. I don't know if it's enough, but I'm doing that. I'm trying. Uh, yeah, you're making the attempt. Right. right Y'all fucking too thirsty. I'm going to make them attempt. Diligently. Right. It's not, it's not, it's, you, you know you can't do enough, but are you doing what you were told? Right. Okay, yeah. you you already know, man. The scriptures say you can never uh, go far enough, man, when you exalt the most high, man. Yeah. And, like, regardless, man, ain't nothing, there's nothing that we can do to pay, pay back the Lord because at the end of the day, that was his grace and his mercy in the first place, man. It's all his will anyway, man. Yeah, that's why he said, okay. he said, do it diligently. See, enough, we, don't, we know we can't do enough, but diligently, yeah. mean, you, consistently. you consistently, you, you own it. Kind. You it's a steady flow, you know what I'm saying? You ain't, you know, sometimes you get low in the spirit, yeah. but, but stay even keel. Yeah. Stay even keel, you know what I'm saying? Every, your spirit ain't gonna be on 1,000 every week, you know what I'm saying? But like I say, like a war say, if you come tomorrow, you ready? Yeah. Do you, do you, because hey, you can't bullshit yourself. What the scripture say? Give diligence to make thy calling of election sure. That's right. That means there's a way that you can make sure you're doing what you need to do. So, hey, check it twice. Am I doing enough? Come on, man, and, 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 and that's why uh, it was the spirit. The brother, the brother uh, titled the video, Are You in the Faith? Something yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. Something like somewhere right. along those lines, man. Yeah. So if, you, if, if the Lord comes back, if the Lord comes back, we know that there's, no, there's nothing we can tell the Lord like we did enough. But can you say to the Lord, like, I did what you told me to do, right? Right. right. Because yeah. if you can't say to the Lord that I did what you told me to do to the best of my capabilities, that means that you don't, you didn't trust him, man. Okay? The scriptures say uh, uh, the Lord is a, is a rewarder to them that diligently seek him, man. So did you trust, man? Did you trust in him? Did you, did, did, when the Lord said, do A, B, C, 1, 2, 3, X, Y, Z. Which is not and, grievous. Which is not grievous. And I'm and, and I'm, I'm going to make a, a, B, C, 1, 2, 3, X, Y, Z happen for you. Did you listen to him? Did you believe that that was going to happen? Did you, did you did you or didn't you, man? Because if you did it, then you don't believe in the Lord, man. You don't believe it. You, basically, how was I sacrifice didn't mean nothing to you, all right? The Lord's mercy when he took us out of Egypt didn't mean shit to you, all right? None of, none of that meant anything to you, man. None of it. You didn't, you didn't believe in these scriptures. You don't believe in the prophecies, man. You don't believe. You might as well just throw away the, throw away the whole belief that you were Israelite, man. You will, you will. When, when the Most High come and there be gnashing the teeth and wailing, you're gonna throw away your whole Israelite belief. You're gonna be like, you, you're gonna curse the Heavenly Father. The Scripture said, not us. The Scripture said you're gonna curse him. Why? Because you didn't have faith. And like the brother said, you weren't doing what he told you to do. At least, yeah. You a bitch ass nigga. That was like Ariana say. Are you, are you a bitch ass nigga? Are you a whole ass nigga? Real talk. For you to get this understanding, ain't doing what you're supposed to do. You a whole ass nigga, man. That's right. Yeah. That's 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 what a whole do. Oh, I, right, I, I yeah. love you, baby. Yeah. I love you. I love you. And then she she got somebody else's dick in her fucking mouth. Man. Right. That's right. Exactly. <laughs> Can I say this about women, man? Women, they, they, their brains is wired towards emotions and feelings, man. So the love to them is bubbles in their gut, flowers and shit. Yeah. Anybody, you hear this truth, you gonna get bubbles and that good feeling and shit. But are you applying it? Are you actually doing actions, you right, feel me? Right, with that right, feeling? Right, that's right, that's right. Can you stand the rain? <laughs> Can you stand the rain? For real. You know? Stay in the paint. This is Sirach 5 and 7. It says, make no tarrying to turn to the Lord and put not off from day to day. Yeah, so you're not supposed to uh, tear, you're not supposed to tear it to turn it to the Lord, man. You're supposed to be like in this in this faith, be uh, hot like the scriptures say, man, not lukewarm, man. Because you because you're gonna know that the Lord, if you endure it, I mean, if you get diligence, your election, your calling, gonna be election sure, man. You're gonna be a uh, Lord willing, a part of your life, man. You're gonna have a better chance, man, that you're doing His will. It says, make not tarry to turn to the Lord and put not off from day to day, or, su or suddenly the wrath of the Lord cometh forth. And in thy security, thou shalt be destroyed and perish in the day of vengeance. 
no, so, so if, you, if you're not di being diligent, the Lord gonna come like a thief in the night, like she was saying, you're gonna be destroyed, man. That's right. All right. Now, real quickly, this is the book of 2 Timothy, chapter 2, verse 1. Though, therefore, my son, be strong in the grace that is in Hamashiach, Yahweh Shai, verse 2, and the things that thou hast heard of me among many witnesses. The same commit thou to faithful men who shall be able to teach others also. That's when it comes faith, man. That's why we come out here teaching other men. And if you have that faith, you'll hearken to these words. Verse 3. Though, therefore, endured hardness as a good soldier of Hamash, of Yahweh Shai, Hamashiach. Right, you're supposed to be a soldier in this, man. Disciplined. Okay, you're supposed to have order. You look at, when you look at these heathens, man, especially uh, so-called white men, they don't have any order. They're out there gaveling around, engage all type of wickedness. And there are fucking people that are on this side, and you follow that madness, man. You ain't a soldier for the most high. Okay? Sidebar, this, this was a soldier for the United States government. And now he's a soldier for the Lord. So who better to tell you about right. being a soldier? Uh, you see how the most high blameless? He got men that actually were soldiers. Now they soldiers for him to give an account of how you're supposed to be. So ain't no excuses for you niggas, man. Right. God. What's, the, and what's the point of being a good soldier? Soldier come from solitary, but you the point of being a good soldier is for the sake of your army, man. For the sake exactly. of the man around you. So you be on point, you hold your end. Right. So 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 everybody could be on point, man. Exactly. And for the for the for the sake of your uh really for you to be saved, but for uh ultimately for the sake of Yahweh Bashimi Al Shaba, his word getting pushed through for, for the building up of his man, for the sake of the elect, it all go back to to the cares with Yahweh Bashimi Al Shah, man. Take a picture of the sign. Yeah. Uh, uh, back to uh, 2 Timothy chapter 2, verse 3. Till therefore endured hardness as a good soldier of Yahweh Shai Hamashiach. God, man. It's a spiritual fight, man. That's why I say as a good soldier for Yahweh Shai Hamashiach and not no damn, not for the Roman army. That's right. <laughs> you know, thou, thou therefore endure hardness for, for the U.S. military. No, man. Nah. Okay, for, for you know a Hebrew Israelite militia, nah, bro. It's a spiritual, it's a spiritual war, man. Right. Okay, the weapons of our warfare are not carnal, man. All right, we fight, we fight in a spiritual battle against our flesh, man. We fight in a spiritual battle against against wickedness in high places, man. Okay. Yo, that brother put that video up on, on Facebook, man, about that goddamn them cell phone towers God. shooting them microwaves on you niggas. How are you going? How are you going to contend with that? But you got a, uh, 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 one of them suits that on, on Better Call Saul that, that uh, 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 his brother was wearing that's going to protect you from the radioactive waves? Nah, man. You you cannot contend with Esau when it comes to weaponry, man. Why? Because that's his blessing. Just like he can't contend with us for his word in the kingdom of heaven. You know? you Hey, it's not going to happen. You niggas better turn to this or you're going to get mowed down, man. Right. That weaponry that they have, man, that's why a lot of people bugged out in America, man. They send frequencies, man, yeah. to, your, yeah. to your brain, man, and make people do all types of bugged out. So at, on top of that, radiation slowly kill you. That's why these people have an epidemic of cancer in America, man. Right, that's right, man. And then on top of that, the, all the fucking uh, drugs in the water, man. Right. Yeah. All the chemicals in the fucking water, man. And, 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 that's, and, and you know, that, that goes back to the healthcare system. Because, because in the healthcare system, so so-called healthcare system, they don't even they don't even treat the disease. They just treat the symptoms with fucking pharmaceuticals and witchcraft, man. All right, and that shit ends up in your bowels, and you take you you uh you excreting that shit into the toilet, man, and it goes back into the water system, and they can't filter it out, man, and it ends up back in your drinking water, man. Yeah, everybody drinking water now. Uh, and, that, and that's why uh, once our scripture says it, draw hardness as a good soldier, because when you see all this shit that the enemy's doing to you, man, you gotta um. Go that narrow course, man, and to stay with these words, man. Because, yo, they're trying to kill you. All right? You got to be a soldier about this. Yeah. This is our way of combating. Yeah. Huh. Esau. Right now, through the spirit of fire, you have about Shemiah Shah. Coming out, Starman coming out here on these streets is very paramount important. And also what we do throughout the week. Because it makes us stronger when we do come out here. It makes us, it makes, for the building of the elect, man. There's your faith in the Lord, yep. man. There's your faith in the Lord, man. That's why whatever happens, man, you know, even though it's hard, man, you got you gotta uh, cast your cares upon the Lord, man. 
pray to the Lord, man. That's 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 the that's one of the number one weaponry, man. Some bad shit happen, man. Pray to the Lord, man. That that'll do it. That's right. <laughs> that'll do it, man. Right. Hey, this is our like that chant. This is my weapon. This is my gun. God. Yeah. This is it, man. Yep. This is for fighting. This is for fun. Yep. Let me cut your stupid people up that are still in this world, man. That shit is fun to us. Yeah. Yep. Right. Especially someone that doesn't know how to read correctly, man. I got a last part on this, Art. Uh, back to 2 Timothy chapter 2, verse 4. No man that warreth entangle himself with the affairs of this life, that he may please him who hath chosen him to be a soldier. That's why you see us out here, man. Because we feel, man, the spirit of Yahweh, we were chosen. This was our destiny to bring out this word, man, as a good soldier, man, for the Lord. This is, this is his army. All right, we ain't in the army of all these military people. All right, fuck that shit. They're gonna die out there in the Middle East when they start yeah. launching nuclear weapons at each other, man. The Arabs are gonna get it. The so-called white man is gonna get it. Who's Esau? All right, you fucking Chinese people, you gonna get it? All right, you ain't built for this shit. That's right. And the reality is, this is this is the beauty of it, though. The weapons are our warfare and our carnal, right? Right. It's spiritual. So now we we turn to the spirituality side of it. But guess what? By us doing that, Lord willing, the Most High gonna call us into the, uh, what, what you call it, where they keep your guns? Uh, oh, to the guns? The armory. The armory. The armory. Yeah. He gonna call us into the army, give us yeah. a new threshing instrument. Yeah. That's right! Oh, God. You know then, then, we, hey, then, then we, hey, then the weapons of our warfare are gonna be carved. Be it your how about shim your shot? It's gonna be spiritual too. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's gonna be spiritual too, man, because you ain't never seen nobody. Fucking call fire out the sky with their voice, man. Exactly. So, right? You ain't you, having power over the elements, man. Okay, being like your Howard Shot, man. Your Howard Shot can control the weather, teleport, walk on water, raise the dead, man. He's the creator of everything, man. All right. You're, okay. <laughs> Quick reset with that. As David, he hadn't been given those spiritual powers, although he did. He had them. But as a man, because he put his faith in the Lord, he killed tens of thousands, hundreds of thousands of men. So imagine when we get spiritual power from on high, man. Oh, man. The Lord told told Moses, uh, this day I have made thee as a god unto the Egyptians and to Pharaoh, man. And, and Aaron shall be thy prophet, man. So get ready to meet the gods. <laughs> That's why <laughs> the Lord God destroyed this place, man, because they fuck shit like that. Green, man. Green, man. Uh, and what the brother's okay, talking about, man, those, those are, the, the Lord know how to give gifts, man. So you... The trust in the Lord and believe in Him, and yeah, you're gonna destroy shit like that first of all, <laughs> and then also <laughs> give, you, give you the power, the spiritual power. You gotta believe in that, man. That's what can keep you going. I got a quick precept. I believe in miracles. <laughs> <laughs> Matthew chapter seven, verse seven. Asking it shall be given you. Seeking you shall find. Knocking it shall be opened unto you. For every one that asketh receiveth, and he that seeketh findeth, and he to him that knocketh it shall be opened. But what man is there of you whom, if his son asks bread, will he give a stone? Or if he asks a fish, will he give him a serpent? See, we know better than that, right? Us being in his flesh. Verse 11. If ye did, if ye didn't be an evil, know how to give good gifts unto your children, how much more shall your father, which is in heaven, give good things to them that ask him? Yeah. Yeah, man. So the Lord gonna do all those things for his man, man. That's right. So what we do now. That's why we got to do what we do now because it don't compare to what he had, the reward that we got for doing what we're doing. They looking at us crazy for being out here on Saturdays and we could get our sleep in on Saturdays or go take our girl to the uh, park and uh, skip around the park and shit. You know? <laughs> but that small little sacrifice that we're doing by being out here, and, and it's a sacrifice and yeah, it's an honor too because we prophesying the destruction of Babylon while we're in it. That's right. By doing that little sacrifice, man, the Lord got some gifts for his man, man.